Hi everyone, welcome to Educers, a complete solution for institution. Myself Sandhya and I am here to explain you about the school management software. This is our Educers login page and here we are providing 5 types of login. First, super admin login. Second, admin login. Third, staff login. Fourth, parent login. And fifth, student login. I'll be logging as a director because director will have total control on the application wherein he can give the controls like whatever screens and modules he wants to give. After we log in, our reducers interface will be in this way. After we do campus setup, your institution details and logo will display here. After you do academic setup, the current academic year will display here. We are capturing all the Google languages here. Whichever language is comfortable to you, you can select and you can see the application in that language. Here we are capturing few special features like to do. To do is nothing but whatever the daily routine works you do, those you can add here and you can sort it out how many pending and how many you have completed. Next, polling master. Management can raise any type of poll questions to us like to the staff and the management and the students that will reflect in our logins and when we give answer the management can see in a pictorial representation. Mails. We are capturing internal and external mails both. Internal mails are to uh, communicate with the employees. External mails are to communicate with the outsiders and parents. Help. If you want to know about any of the module, you can just type in the help desk about that module and you can easily understand what is that module and if you want to redirect the, to the screen, you just click on that, you will redirect to the screen as well. Campus links. Management want, if management wants to share any kind of links to the staff or students and the parents, they will share us. That will reflect in our logins in a dashboard. We can just click on that link. It will redirect to that link. Here you can see all your staff profiles in a dashboard and all your students in one place as a dashboard. This is your profile. You can log in and log out here. Now I am going to the main modules. In home we have two modules, dashboard and statistics. Dashboard is nothing but whatever data you will be entering that you can see in a pictorial representation. Same, statistics. Whatever data you have seen in a pictorial representation that you can see same in a table format here. All user, all user summary you can capture here. All vehicle summary you can capture here branch wise. And all hostels dormitory summary you can capture here. All toppers, our branch wise toppers you can capture here. You can sort it out from 1st rank to 10th rank also. So you can even download the data in CSV and PDF. Visitor summary, all your visitors, whoever is our visitors, you can sort it out month wise and you can select who has come and met principal, who has come and met staff and student and etc. Teaching plan summary will be provided by the faculties to us like for example lesson name, lesson number, subject, Le plan, how many periods they are going to take to finish that, start date and end date and etc. We can download the data as well. By this you can manage your syllabus. Now I am going to the next module that is campus setup. In campus setup we have two modules, institution registration. Institution registration is nothing but whatever your institution data is there that we will be entering here and then if any changes are there you can just click on edit button and you can change about your institution details. You can upload the logo also. Next is branch registration. So no matter you have n number of branches, you can add your branches over here. After you add, you can see one by one your branch details here. User registration. In user registration, first is admin registration. So your principal details you can add here. Just click on add button and you can enter the details of the principal and you can just save it. After that, you can see your details of the principal like this. Student admissions. So this is the screen where you will be doing the admissions. You will just click and add user and you will enter the details of the new student and you will just save. After you save, the students will reflect in the left side. You just click on one student and you can see what is the data you provided to that student. We are also providing bulk import students. So here we are providing the Excel sheet. If you can manage the data in whatever the Excel sheet we are providing, that you can easily upload. Whatever we are providing in the green, those are mandatory, remaining or optional. So this you can just upload and process it. You can see the data as usual. 
next module is academic setup to run any of the school or college you know we need to set up our academic details so just click on plus button you enter your current academic details your timings your shift your classes start date and date and just save it after you save you can see the data here like this your curriculum groups you can add here subject management you can manage your subjects whatever subjects you teach in the school so if you want that subject to be reflected in the timetable just checklist it will reflect in the timetable you can also import the excel sheet whatever we are providing section management no matter you might have a number of sections so you can add all your sections here class wise and then you can save it the next screen student to section so whatever sections we have created now we are going to allow the students in the sections you can select all or individually also one by one also you can allow the students teacher to subject we are predefinedly allotting the faculties to the subjects just click on plus button you will select the curriculum here you will select the class you will select the section and you can see like this particular subject and this particular class section these both will be the faculties teaching details you can see here assigned and non-assigned also you can see here campus calendar your total school calendar you can capture here just click on any of the date and you will get a form like this you can select all branches in one shot and you can allow any type of event or holiday here and that will reflect in the calendar everyone can see calendar like this this calendar only will reflect to the parents also here they can see what is the holiday if they click on that they can see what was the holiday timetable configuration so we can configure our timetable here according to the, our curriculum we'll just click select our curriculum class wise you can configure your timetable you remember I gave these all in the academic setup. If you want to change any of these, you can go to the academic setup and you can change these details. To edit this, just click on the edit button and you can edit the timings, your period, lunch time, break times, everything, durations and you can just generate timetable. After you generate timetable, the timetable will automatically get generated like this. If you want to add any of the changes, you can change here. You can clone the timetable for the week, for the month, for the year also. You can switch the timetable also like this. You can down, you can import the Excel sheet also which we are providing. And this is the final timetable which will be displayed to the parents whatever we have finalized. Section and you will select month like this. The timetable gets displayed. Course schedule. Course schedule is you can schedule your courses here. Like whatever your subject wise, you can schedule your courses here. Next module is annual checks. You can manually also enter the marks. Click on edit button. You can edit the marks and you can enter your marks here. Like this. You can edit it and you can enter your marks here. Okay. You can edit it and you can enter your marks here. B grade, whatever grades you want to give, 59, whatever you want to give and you can save it. You can notify the parent also, you can notify date sheet to the parents, you can promote the students, you can add your date sheets also here. You can see the details also and summary also here. Academic checks. In academic checks, few things remain same every year like our calendar, syllabus, question papers, curriculum, academic year, student promotion. So, no need of doing these all things every year. You can just click on the generate button and you can clone whatever the data we have that will clone for the next academic year also. Student promotions. So, you can promote the students in the screen. Just select, just select the section and you can promote all the students and you can move to the next class. Next module is Campus Master. In Campus Master, Application Master. Few things we need to do one time configurations. For example, your assignment types. We do give assignments in so many ways like it can be homework, it can be presentation, it can be written work, project works. So wherever the application in the application assignment type will be there, there you will get in a drop down if you configure in one time. So these all are one time configurations. Let me tell you about the digital diary settings. Digital diary setting is nothing but we are capturing the attendance subject wise also. So whatever faculty 
for example english faculty is there and if she started class at 9 o'clock and ended her class at 10 o'clock what she'd have taught in the class what assignment and what homework she has given that day everything will be sending a mail to the parent so at what time that mail has to go that time you will configure here and at what time we have taken the attendance and parents should notify that attendance that time you can capture here and daily at that time they both notifications will go you need not to send screen defaults so screen defaults is nothing but whatever screen defaults you want to do in the user registration that you can change here like after we save one new admission in the ref side we are getting an option of students so there if you want student name or class student name or the department or the designate student name or employee code or student name or uh, class those all you can easily change it building management you can manage your buildings here details department and designations you can map your departments you can map your designations everything here and here you can you can land uh, landing page you can select here whether you want uh, dashboards or you want home page uh, if you want if you are if you have anything like uh, in any of where you want to capture uh, instead of admission number roll number you can just select here any fee templates you want to do you can do here sample fee templates you will get here like this okay and uh, the special features these all are the special features as i told you in the starting if you don't want to give any of the special features to the parent or the staff you can control over here whatever you control those only will reflect in their logins and the next is campus configuration campus configuration load data load data is nothing but we all we are providing these all excel sheets if you can manage the data in whatever the excel sheet we are providing that you can easily upload so you can select each and everything and you will get a sample sheet of for each and every module here so you can easily process it next is guest view we are also providing one free website if you want to use that website you can use it and that you can control from the application itself you can add your gallery details here you can add about yourself about your faculty admission details everything not only website you can also manage your social media related news also you can control your any kind of news here like if it is an admission related news or if it is any any result news you can capture here and it will reflect in the website id cards you can configure id cards here we are providing five types of templates here if you want to use them you can use it no if you have your own uh, template you can upload your own template also and then smart card now you will be assigning ID cards here just click on one student and you can generate ID card so it will generate in the PDF so whatever ID cards you can generate like this next is next module is admin module this this module is completely for the principal so account details whatever the donations has been given by the da principal that data you can see here expenses if he is going out on the purpose of school so what expenses he has claimed that and his salary month wise salary you can see how the notification has to send to the principal whether it is from sms internal mail external mail push notification everything you can select here campus activity what are the documents shared by the principal to us what are the tasks we have assigned to the principal personal details of the principal achievements his behavior his experience his family details his summary his profile qualification appraisals everything you can configure here next is scholastics his total month wise attendance also you can capture here and the next module is user management first is staff management so this is the screen where you will be adding your staff members new or existing so just enter the details of the staff and you will just save it after you save in the left all the staff members will display just click on one staff you can see family details of the staff assigned assets of the staff professional information of the staff you can add the activity fee of the staff salary and performance his behavior in the school his what are the certificates and letters we have provided if he has any medical problem what is the medical problem physical examination discipline and transfers you can transfer him uh, and transportation what is the route he is usually travels and pay structure his salary you can manage here teaching details given by him when what he will teach dormitory if he is using our hostel what is the dormitory details and everything you can see here and you can see the attendance is in a pictorial representation next is student management 
so this is the student management screen you can just enter the details of the students here just click on one student you can add the family details over here his credentials you can manage here his academic performance you can manage here his behavior in the class we can comment staff can comment admin can comment and parent can also comment certificates what are the certificates and letters we have issued to him dormitory fees in the hostel which room everything you can what is the fee of that student you can manage here medical if he has any medical problem immunization physical examination if he has any emergency doctor discipline and transfer you can suspend the student from here you can transfer the student to the next branch if he is using the transportation which route which which location everything and you can see the student attendance also we have captured in pictorial representation job and placements as i said you we are providing the free website you can you can just place your openings here and that reflect in the website and whoever ap approaches in the website if they are entering the details of their job we can see the data over here and you can see the details and you can even schedule that interview also past users so revive users is nothing but if you want to whatever we have suspended students are there or the staff from the staff or st student management screen after you activate them then only they can log into the application otherwise they cannot access to the application alumni users is nothing but our ex students our ex staff members are approaching us in the website thus data we can see here role authorizations role authorization is nothing but the controls what are the modules and screens sub modules you want to give to whomever like principal staff student and parent that you can control here read only means only only they can view they cannot edit read and write means they can edit that screen so you can give the controls here which have whatever modules and screens you will give that only will reflect in their logins custom user authorization is nothing but individually department wise you will select the teaching and you will select one staff and see what are the modules and screens you want to give like this mobile app also like mobile screens also whatever mobile screens you want to give dashboard authorizations i hope you remember when i have logged in i have shown you the dashboards pictorial representation so those we no need to share to everyone so whatever dashboards you want to share to whomever those you can control here custom user dashboard is again individually you can select employee wise and you can see what are the dashboards you want to give to that particular employee next is student attendance here we are capturing five types of attendance first is you can enter the attendance manually also like this and you can uh, enter through excel sheet also you can upload through biometric integration can be done rfid integration also can be done through load data also you can manage and mobile app faculties can take the student attendance to mobile app also period activity as i told you earlier also subject wise faculties will take attendance so at what time they have started the class and ended and what they have taught today what is the status of that uh, lesson today and what is the activity done what homework they have given and they can add any uh, assignment also and they'll save it here is staff diary so here you can see the staff they will add their daily routine activities here like how many classes they have taken today attendance entry and history you can even capture the attendance entry and history here you can track the students also and staff also through gps here next module is HR management in HR management first is leave management so you can add your rules like you might be having these many sick leaves and ELs and casuals so whatever your rules and regulations are there about leaves you can capture your rules here leave management like whatever leaves are coming from the staff members those will be capturing in the screen you will just click on edit button and you can see the total leave of the faculty and if you want to approve you can approve if you want to reject you can reject and if you want to call them to the cabin you can call them to the cabin next is staff attendance so same we are capturing five types of attendance you can take manually also through load data also you can upload through biometric integration is there rfid integration is also there faculties can give attendance through mobile app also this is the total attendance history you can see how many sick leaves casuals has been taken by the employees next is staff payroll so staff payroll we can see dashboard like this like how many employees we have how many working days still know how many we have processed so what is the total payroll cost how much deductions and earnings 
salary configurations you can do the salary configurations here you can add the salaries taxes earnings deductions pay component salary dates and you can save it pay slip details so you will select the pay slip or you will select month wise year department wise year generate just view the pay slip like this you can also download the pay slip also like this and you can first you need to click on calculate you need to click on generate when you will release then only it will reflect in that particular employee login otherwise it will not reflect one and one meeting if you want to schedule any meeting with employees that you can schedule here and it will reflect in their logins you can also view the calendars also here next module is campus operations in campus operation automatic scheduler we are capturing uh, four types of notifications you can send sms also to the parents and students you can send push notifications that is mobile app through mobile app internal mails also you can send and external mails also you can send you will select today and you will select completed pending fail you will select sms you will select the uh, user here and you will select the department and username and click on schedule notification and you can notify to the parent or student like this if you are taking sms from us you can see the sms count also here purchased sms is also here list you can see you can see the history also like this everything whether that sms has been delivered or not those data also you can see here report schedule you can schedule the reports also here just click on add button and you can just generate the reports also campus info uh, you can as i told you polling master so you can add the po management can add the polling questions here and here you can select only to the staff management student and parent also you can add the date also from which day to which day the poll question has to reflect and you can add the options also and you can generate the poll question next is branch rating you can you can give branch rating like uh, parents can give us the branch rating uh, like they'll give us rating like this and campus links campus links again if you want to share any kind of links those you can share and that will be reflected in the dashboard document sharing so you can share the documents just click on plus button and you can add the name of the document and icon document sharing you can just click on plus button and you will add the name of the document document subject and everything just click on this and just multiple branch share so from which date to which date this has to reflect and you will select whether it only read only you want to give read and write and select the branches and move here again you select the branches and to in this branch to whom you are sending this only principles and just save it and it will save it will just share it will get shared next is food program so you can manage if you have canteen you can manage your food menu pricing main menu of the food how what is the food statistic how many staff and uh, students usually eat users of the food food activity everything you can capture here inventory management so you can manage your inventory details like live lab miscellaneous everything just plus add in plus button and you can add your inventory details vendor details you can just click on plus button and then you can enter your vendor list lab if you have lab lab inventory details you can capture here chemistry lab physics lab how many items we have and how many damage how many new we have to purchase miscellaneous inventory items like stationery canteen items how many new we, we brought and how many have damaged everything if you have franchises so franchises orders franchisee franchisees can order to our to franchisers like what are the items are provided by the franchiser the franchisee can see and they can place the order also so they can see everything and here franchises can place the orders also miscellaneous operations we can even give tasks to the student parents uh, task to the st staff members also name of the task date end date assigned to whichever staff whether it date done date and if they done they change the status also asserts whatever asserts we are assigning to the staff so details of that assert print screen this is for the security purpose so if anyone wants to uh, misuse the data and trying to misuse the data if they are uh, trying to take any of the screen print screen after 10 times the application get logged and they need to approach you and we can see the data also we who is the person and what screen they have taken the print screen ip address and whether it from which 
browser they have taken everything we are capturing here parent teacher meeting you can also schedule pta meeting in the screen accounts management and the account management we are also having payment gateway if you tie up with any of the online payments we will integrate that and here you will be adding your account details and you will be saving it general entry so whatever your debits and credits full on payments that you can see here in one shot total school debits and credits here you can select cash how much we received from which bank how much we received everything we can capture here transaction from account and to account also debit and credit also you can also download the data also tax configurations state wise tax configurations can also be done in the screen next fee management so fee types so we might be having different different fee types right so you no matter whatever fee types you have you can enter your fee types here same as special fees you can add your special fees as here waiver type so whatever the discounts you usually give the discounts you can add here just select plus on quit button and you can add your waivers fee structure you will be configuring your fee structure class wise we might be having different different fee for different different class just you can edit it and you can give your own fee type fee if you generate if, if the fee is generated for everyone click on generate button it will generate for all no it is you want to generate individually you can just click on unlock again and you can generate individually also individually also and generate so whatever we have you can give number of terms also like if you're if you're giving to a parent or uh, three terms four terms five terms you can add the terms also here and you save after you save if in fee details you can see term wise detailed fee here like if you have given 12 terms it will display 12 terms if it is three terms four terms it displayed four terms or three terms fee receivables so till now how many payments we have to receive pendings outstandings everything name of the student roll number everything you can see and you can also notify the parent also from here itself if you want to notify one shot you can notify individually also you can notify special fee management you can uh, take special features in the screen and uh, fee adjustments uh, if you want to do any kind of fee adjustment that you can see do in the screen project ledger as i, as I said you if you have any franchises so whatever franchisee has been ordered to the franchisers those de those uh, account details you can see here scholarship configurations can be done in the screen next is academic in academics first is assessment management so your individual letters for exams you can manage here for the internal and external both the schedule of the exams can capture in the screen what is the date and timings etc assessment marks after the exams you can capture your assessment marks over here assessment marks over here next is your course lms so you you usually give study materials to the students right so whatever the study material sees there that you can click on plus button and you can add your curriculum details title and everything and you can save it here and next is you can even edit add the matter also here whatever matter you want to give that matter you can add here and you can also attach any kind of uh, image or any kind of file you can upload the videos also in the screen and course quiz questions is nothing but whatever study materials we have created from that you can create quiz questions also and you can assign next is course assessment so whatever the course assessment is there like if you want to conduct any assessments from the study material which we are providing that you can do it from the screen course list till now how many study materials we have created that you can see here and that you can see in a booklet also like this next is formative assessments so you can uh, this is the assignment screen where you can add your the assignment also you can select class wise and you can assign the assignment here subject also you can see so this is the assignment and assign assignment you can assign the assignment to the students here in the screen so you can select the section here date you can give due date also you can give and it, this will reflect in the student logins next is grading system as you know the government has done grading system so here you can configure your grade system so class wise grading system you can configure here scholastic grading is nothing but term wise uh, like grading you can do here like uh, for internals for fa1 for sa1 so formative assessment for fa1 fa2 sa1 sa2 you can do the grading system here like if you don't want grading system you just un uncheck it 
sub scholastic subgrading so not only for the internals and externals or for fe1 or sa1 for assignments for online exams offline exams records and vivas if you want the grading system is assessment gradable if you click on that then it will be gradable term grade generated is not only if you want grading system in first term you can just click on first term if you want it for second term also you can click on second term and if you want for the final term you can generate and it will be generated for final term also consolidated marks so this is the screen where you can see final you can view the final marks of the student and consolidated marks of the students here you can see the report card of the student also here like this you can download the report card also and everything you can capture so next is online exams you can also conduct online exams also just click on plus button and you can you can just give create the question paper you will just select and you can just create the question paper in the screen small answers short answers fill in the blanks match the following yes or no also you can select you can add the options of the uh, in question paper next manage you can manage the question paper in this screen so whatever question paper you have created that you can just click on plus button and you can check it out here okay next is preview you can also preview the question paper you can also clone the question paper everything you can do it next is subject descriptive descriptive also you can you can just check it out descriptive questions also here yeah so in this screen you can manage the question paper so descriptive tests like you know whatever the descriptive question essay type of questions are there number of questions essay type questions how many short questions how much everything you can capture here and next is assign so whatever the question papers online exam offline exams questions are there that you will be assigning here to the students assign objective test to section wise just click on that and you can assign the questions here activity so how many students has been attempted the questions everything you can see the activity how many exams we have conducted everything the performance of the student also we are capturing in a graphic next is syllabus you can manage your syllabus you can select here you can select the class you can select the curriculum you can select the subject and see like this you can manage the syllabus you can input the syllabus also here teaching plan the teaching plan of will be provided by the faculties you will select here and see the teaching plan of that subject subject wise you can see the teaching plan and you can also import the subjects through excel sheet so next module is library so library management in library management first you will configure your library items whatever the items you are keeping in the library so inventory items like uh, what are the materials uh, you have purchase our publisher author available books not available all you can see you can import through excel sheet also barcodes also we are giving you can just stick it in the books everything you can do next is uh, our library activity so the, you can assign library books to the students and staff also so these are all the books available in the library we will select one student and you will just select here the books and add to the card and then view the card and if you are generate if you are issuing click generate receipt and issue and you have issued the materials returns so the student if he is returning back you will select here if there is any kind of fine it will automatically calculate and just click on receipt and you can return the book automatically receipt get generated you can see the transaction history of library how many fines we received till date the next module is dormitory in the dormitory you can manage your building dorm building here room management you can do here warden management you can do here dormitory timetable when is the breakfast when is the lunch dinner dormitory visitors you can capture the dormitory visitors here and out pass if the student is requesting for the out pass you can see here and uh, when and the otp gets generated to the parent and if we receive the otp then only we will request accept that request and you can see outpass activity also view you can view the dashboard in the dashboard also how many students regularly go out everything here and the next is transportation in transportation first is route management so you will be managing your route details here like this and route points you will be giving route points also and who are all traveling in the route staff to student you can capture route logo also you can give here like this and monitor you can monitor the route also through gps 
and the next module is vehicle activity so whether the driver you can uh, whether the driver and the helpers are available or not assigned unassigned you can check here daily trip in the morning the whether the bus is ready whether the helper driver is ready or not you need to checklist and you need to save transportation you can tra you can monitor all the buses in one shot no matter you have n number of routes you can monitor all the routes in one shot whether they are going on time whether the bus is in on track or not next is vehicle management vehicle management is nothing but about your vehicle details everything you can input about that insurance you can see you can add the insurance details you can add maintenance details here and you can add fuel details here you can add the damages how many times the bus got damaged academic history not only the current academic details you can also capture the previous year students user registration fee payments journal entries final marks also through excel sheet next module is lead management system lead management system means we do get leads from quick uh, uh, twitter uh linkedin facebook everything so or uh, through calls also so if we are getting any kind of lead through call we will enter the details of the student we will select everything and we'll save after we save we can see the data also you can import through excel sheet also if you are manually entering any offline uh, admissions dashboards you can see dashboards in a dashboard our leads how many we have assigned how many have been closed and how many are pending cold calls how many emails how many offline online walk-ins how many and how many total inquiry status you can check it out by class lead history you can see the lead history also like what happened about what happened to that lead how who has closed that lead hot leads also you can check it out how many hot leads we have day wise uh, everything you can check it out lead daily leads you can check daily how many leads we are getting if we are keeping any of the lead in inactive why we have kept that in inactive last modification date everything you can see here the next module is reports reports module in the reports you we are capturing these all reports so just click on student admissions you can just select it and you can download the reports in pdf and excel both report templates you can also dynamic reports also you can manage here like what are the columns you want how many columns you want you can filter it filter it also you can add it also add rules groups everything you can delete it everything you can you can uh, save the report also everything you can do here okay this is all about our reducers application thank you so much for